Alrighty then. Look at me. I'm wearing semi-normal clothes. Oh, it feels really good to wear some normal clothes after driving a bike for five days and being in those kind of cycling pants, just constricting everything. Yeah, it feels really nice to, to be in these pants. But I had a really nice ride yesterday. Uh, I think, yeah, I did 146 kilometers. It was my furthest so far. The first half was kind of uh, hilly. Um, actually way more hilly than the road from Tilburg to Aachen. And then, yeah, I found that uh, I got to some bakery shop at some point. Uh, it was actually really nice. I was uh, asking for some directions in, in French. This was in um, Falsburg. That's close on, on the border. So I was talking to this guy in, in French, asking him if, I maybe had, if he maybe had a, a seat to sit down. And he immediately took me to the back of his bakery and was like, uh, everyone cafe. <laughs> and he got me, gave me some coffee. And then after 10 minutes, we found out that I found out that he's uh, that he could also speak German, which is a bit easier for me. Uh, because yeah, right in that area, it's just right on the border, and it's been contested by Germany and France for a very, very long time. So uh, all people over there just know both German and French. And he was like, yeah, if you go um, from Falsburg to here, you will go up for a little bit, and then it's all flat. And then uh, I saw this, and I also noticed that I had the wind in my back. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go to Strasbourg. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. And uh, yeah, I did. I, I biked really fast, actually. I think, yeah, I was on the bike for about eight hours in total. And yeah, it just felt really good. Uh, felt like, I felt quite godly. <laughs> it's like, yes, my legs can do this. Okay, look, now I'm at the cathedral. That looks kind of nice. <laughs> I don't think I will play here though. I think I first need to find a nice, good spot. Where there are a lot of shops. Although there are quite a lot of people here. So anyway, yeah, I got to Strasbourg at night. I have family in... Uh, in Plopsheim, so it was really nice. I could I could stay there for a bit, so I will stay here for today and play because I came to play music, not only to bike. And yeah, I haven't played much music so far, and I really would like to to change this because yeah, this is my goal. I also just need money. <laughs> I just really need money before I uh, go into the Alps. I think I'm not the only one who needs money. Yeah. Maybe she should learn something. <laughs> and it's easier to make money. Oh, oh that also looks like a cool building. Uh, so yeah, I actually also have made a plan for the rest of the of the route. I think tomorrow I will go through to Basel. Look at this, Look at this thing. Awesome. I will go through to Basel. It's only 120 kilometers from here. And it's still all flat because it's the Rhine Valley. So I can just bike along the Rhine basically and yeah, just stay flat. And yeah, my legs are really used to flat stuff. <laughs> so I think, yeah, to, uh, tomorrow will just be fine. I think I will make it easy. 120 kilometers is easy for me now. That's crazy. If, if you would have told me this a week ago, I would have been like, what? <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to Basel. And then the next stop after that is uh, uh, Zurich, and after that it's probably Kür, or Kür, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, and then we are in the Alps, and then the really, uh, the really hard stuff will follow. But I just have confidence that that will be fine. I'm actually more worried about uh, the playing than the money, that's actually my only worry right now. Um, so yeah, let's let's find a spot to play. I will also try to film uh, some songs today because I feel like I haven't uh, done that. <laughs> yeah, I did one live stream, but yeah, the quality is kind of shit if you do it like this. So I will try to give you some more content today. And 
yeah, I will see you guys later when I get to Austria. Oof. I'm going kind of fast, guys. <laughs> kind of fun. Let's go. go to Dorsne. Uh, no, go to uh, patreoncom Nick, and you can see more stuff. Also, uh, I uploaded three new Nick and the Dorsne songs. So for Nick and the Dorsne fans, go to patreoncom Nick. So for only one dollar a month, you can check out all the new uh, new demos and stuff. And when I get back home after this, um, I will make more demos. And actually, I have a couple lined up for when I come back. But only for patrons. Only for patrons. Because, yeah, I don't know. I'm actually, for instance, I'm a little bit done with Spotify. I was actually thinking of removing it. I don't know if I will, but I was thinking of, of removing it from Spotify. Because there's just really no point. <laughs> I've never made one cent from it. And... It's it's not really that good of a commercial. It's only, it's only that it's on there, and I don't know. I uh, I feel like people have bought the album in physical form, and I could just give them a download link, uh, and give them like an, an online place that I could just put it on SoundCloud and give them the link. I feel like this would just be way more fair, and that way I can actually make some money with music I write, and and then I can maybe actually live off of it. So yeah, we will see. For now, check you guys later.